Hockey 605, we're here with Ann Park and Carolyn DeCenzo, co-mothers of Nick DeCenzo from the Brookings Blizzard. Thanks for taking some time with us at Hockey 605, Carolyn. Thank you. Thanks. Now, Nick has come to Brookings and been staying for the last year with Ann, right? Yes, yes. Well, not quite a year. What's two, a, what's two years now. Two, it's two years, and um, he's, he's going to school also, so they're stuck with him another a month and a half, maybe. Oh, wow. So, That's going to be hard for you to let him go for that long. Oh, uh, he's... It, He's in a good, you know very good spot. We we don't have to worry about him. He's he's happy here. So that would have to make a difference for you, knowing that he's in, in a good family. Yeah, he, he it is. It's, the billet families are you know amazing, and we count on them as parents, and they do a great job. I'm I'm really happy. And Anne, for you to have an extra son in the house for two years, what's it been like? Oh, it's been great. He's fit into our family like he's belonged with us since the day he was born. He was definitely fit right in, so. And that has to bring a lot for your kids to show them the example, right? Yeah. I, both of my kids play hockey, so it was really fun for them to have someone who was at that higher level of hockey and just, they enjoy him. It's been fun. Well, and I would think there, there's just probably no feeling that you can explain what it's like to help a young man realize his dreams. Oh, exactly, exactly. Uh, it was... Someone asked if we wanted to do it. I said, sure, I would love to house someone. They're here. They need somewhere to stay. So it, has been, it was definitely we wanted to do it from the get-go. Well, he's a pretty neat guy, too. Oh, definitely. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's at um, SDSU. No, he basically um, he had to take um, college courses um, to follow the NCAA rules. And um, in the Army, he's going on to the Army and playing hockey for four years and then serve for five after that. So it, um, it, all he wanted to do is you know, play hockey and go to school. So, Wow. Well, and you have to be tough to play hockey in the first place. And you have to be tough to, put, to be in the Army. So it's, yeah. it's a good thing he's double tough, right? He is tough. He's, uh, I don't have any doubt that um, Nick will you know, do well where he is, the next level, so. So, Carolyn, do you have other kids that play hockey? Yes, my um, my uh, son that's in the middle, um, he... Someone might just want a car. All right. Now that the excitement of the guy went in the car and the check -a puck is exactly. over, let's get back here. Um, we were talking about you have another son that plays hockey, right? Yes, he just got, finished up a four-year career at the University of Vermont. They were in the the 16 um, NCAA tournament, and but they they unfortunately lost to um, Union. So we're kind of cheering for Union right now. <laughs> no. Um, it, it, what an honor to be there. Though. But yeah, very honor, and you know it. It was a. He's got a great education, so a nice. He'll come out with a degree and. And uh, very nice. So sounds like hockey's been good to your family. Um, yes, I had a brother that played in the um, NHL and on the 1980 Olympic team. Oh, so a miracle team. Uh, we're a hockey yes. family. I think I was born in the arena practically. Yep. So. Well, it's no wonder they want to play. Yeah. That's awesome. So. Well, now with Nick going on, are you going to host a, another player? Do you think? I'm not sure if we will or not. We've had a great experience with Nick, so I'm not sure anyone can follow in his footsteps. Yeah, he's, prob he's pretty irreplaceable, isn't he? He is. All right. Well, ladies, thank you for taking some time with us at Hockey 605. We've enjoyed Nick in the short amount of time we've, we've known him, and I'm, I'm sure that you can tell us a few stories later on when he gets into the NHL. Definitely. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I want to thank the uh, Blizzard organization the, and the owners and the uh, coaching staff for all they've done. It's been great. And the host families. Thank you. Thank you.